I, a couple years ago, was a regular, regular, regular girl and was broke. I literally don't need anything, but I want to buy everything. Good morning. Time is currently 6.30 a.m. I got up, actually, finally, and I'm about to edit Vlogmas. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. I don't even know. Not him just sitting there being so cute. Time is currently 9-11 and I've just been sitting here editing for the past three hours. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be back. I think that this Vlogmas definitely is going to be a different style of editing. A lot more simplified than usually what I do. If you guys don't know, I usually have like crazy graphics and all this stuff. But usually editing takes like four days for every video. But since we have to have a one day turnaround, it's going to be a lot more simple and stuff. But I'm really liking the simplicity of these vlogs. Let me know. But good morning. Welcome back to another vlog, miss. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey. I think that like me getting ready in the morning and putting on a workout set and just like washing my face and jumping out of bed and just coming to the office really was nice. Like I love that I have my own space to just work and just do that because I feel like whenever I just spend time in my room, I end up just being lazy and falling asleep and it never makes me feel good. I think that's probably the reason why I've just been feeling not very great lately. But today I want to organize the kitchen and go kitchen shopping a little bit while my mom's here. Good morning. Good morning. Madame Kia. Wonton soup today? Okay. I hear you, babies. I hear you. <laughs> mommy here. Mommy here. Come on. Come on, you little stink box. Ooh. Let's go outside, dude. Right, look at her getting her chopping. Let's go upstairs. Let's go outside. Hold on, hold on, before we continue, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? A shit! Uh <laughs> oh my gosh, when I was 16, it was the last time we celebrated my birthday together, and now I'm 20. <gasps> wow! Wow, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, this is so cute! It's so cute. <laughs> Someone says, when I followed this spam account, I didn't know this was the content I would be getting, but I love it. I literally posted a picture of me on the toilet, and I did that yesterday as well. Hello, good morning. Fake. I'm fake? Yeah. I'm not being fake. So you, you don't fuck with me, so I don't fuck with you. you finish your video? Editing? No, I'm almost done. I just took a break to eat. It's crazy because I was looking at your channel, and you haven't even uploaded in December yet. Yeah, because Vlogmas, like, Vlogmas starts on December 1st, but that means, like, you vlog on December 1st, and you post on December 2nd. Like, that's the traditional way to do it. Okay. Not you watching my videos. Anyways, that was Jadon. He's my friend on YouTube, by the way, if you guys did not know. Not him analyzing my channel and shit. This is so cute. If you guys are wondering where I get all of my, like, extravagant personality from, it's from her. Because, like, tell me why I would do this for other people, too. Speaking of this, though, this is a beautiful background. Wow. Oh, you make my she even got me a gift from Canada. Oh, my gosh. Come on, man. Me. I literally just finished posting vlogmas to editing it. It's currently 2 p.m. I hope you guys really love this new editing style. It's definitely more simple, but I really do love it. But anyways, it's 2 p.m. I want to organize the kitchen and like go kitchen shopping. My mom just laid out all of my kitchen supplies and stuff like that. And then we have like all of the food still down here to put away. All right, I just got ready. I've literally watched my day one of vlogmas, I think about six times now. Like sitting down for hours and hours and working on something i'm like re-watching over and over again i'm like oh my god that was so good anyways i've literally just been reading your comments and watching my video back to back to back while getting ready but this is the look why are my tits out so much okay oh i was like bitch why do i look so weird it's because i haven't put in my contacts yet i thought i looked really ugly for a second not gonna lie y'all ever just look at yourself and be like mm, something's off and then like to me when i say something's off i just assume that like i just don't look good that's usually <laughs> the case most of the time but today it was the contacts the view is slaying like always i always just feel the need to show y'all the view because i'm always just like what the f every time i look out and look at it like i can literally see a plane and a helicopter right now like goddamn go crazy oh my gosh this shot goes whoa i'm not sure if i should organize things first or just go kitchen shopping i think we should just go kitchen shopping right 
She's like, you have a lot of stuff. I know I have a lot of stuff. Guys, like in my last apartment, like I was very conscious about the things that I was buying just because I just have moved so many times and dealt with so much clutter that just buying a bunch of it didn't satisfy me anymore. I love the act of buying it, but then having a lot of unnecessary things you don't need, I realize puts a lot of like stress on my mental health, but I didn't really have too many items. Like you guys can see here, I had four cups, a mason jar, two bowls, not too much. So I think it'd be fun for us to go out and go shopping. Let's do that. Ooh, first time using the closet. Tell me you don't feel rich right now. Like, do you feel rich? I hope you feel rich because that's the feeling that I want to give you because you are rich, bitch. No, because I want you guys to watch my videos and see this and be like, damn, if Mike can do it, I can do it. But I, a couple years ago, was a regular, regular, regular girl living in a hometown of 10,000 people and was a broke bitch, okay? And I was depressed, okay? And look where I am now. Still a regular, regular, regular girl, but not depressed. So, okay, so what bag are we gonna wear? No, we're gonna wear these pants, okay? From A brand jeans, I don't know y'all. They sent me them for free and I want to wear my green hoodie. I know you guys are probably sick of me, but I don't give two f***s. I love that green hoodie. I'm literally not trying to promote my clothing brand. I'm just trying to talk about my life right now. The reason why I started my Alchemy thing is because I genuinely just had no hoodies that I liked. Like I just hated all hoodies. I personally like bigger hoodies because you can layer things underneath without it getting constricted. And then also it's just nice to wear when you don't have pants on like I love not wearing pants but if I get an extra large hoodie then it just makes me look like a brick and it just wasn't right so I made my own custom hoodie and then everyone was like oh my god my where'd you buy it where'd you buy it where'd you buy it so I decided to sell it but that is the origin story of Alchemy I'm gonna shut up should I shut up you know what I'm gonna keep talking I'm gonna keep talking a lot of people are always like oh my gosh what does Alchemy mean and it's because I was reading this book and it said the word alchemy and I was like oh my gosh talking about how like transform you must like transform within to like change your life on the outside does that make sense and I was like I love that so then I took the word alchemy did a little play on words and turned it to Alchemy. And now the front of these hoodies and like every single hoodie says it's not what we do that changes the world, it's who we become because all of the healing starts within. This ain't no fucking YouTuber merch, y'all. I really put my pussy into this. Anyways, what bag should we pick today? This one's cute. Kind of matches the jeans. No, but it's also like gonna make me fucking mad. I'm trying to see if it's gonna slip off my hoodie or not. Oh guys, look at this. Okay, I think I think that this bag works. Okay, we're gonna go with this really cute Chanel bag from Into Archive. I do not own it. They let me borrow it. If you guys missed it, I organized my closet in the last vlog. Okay, this outfit is serving slay. It's also serving and wrinkled, but looks good. Do you see the reason why I love these hoodies so much? Look at the way it sits. I know I never shut up about them, but I am genuinely so passionate about them. Should start a petition for Maya to shut the f up about her out my hoodies. Don't worry, I will sign it. Can I just get the Pure Vita bowl, please? And then could I also get a uh, vegan protein in it? Damn, that acai bowl is twenty dollars. For what reason? We're gonna eat this, get some energy before we go shopping. But I literally didn't even know where we we're going. We literally stood outside my apartment for like ten minutes because I didn't know any furniture stores, so I had to find those. Look at this. Yummy. Mm. She's never had acai before. Yum, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, acai berry frozen. Okay, I've lived in New York for a year, but I think I've been to Williamsburg maybe once, but oh my gosh, tell me why it is so cute here and there's the cutest shops, like, look at this. Oh my gosh, I need to come back here and just do like a shopping video. Williamsburg is the shit. I oh my god, are y'all seeing this right now? This bowl, like, oh, I love, it just looks perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this lamp. Oh, it, it does not work. This store is so, I'm obsessed. This store is $3,000. $3,000. You get Yes. Why? I don't know. $6,000? It's not even that comfy, bro. That store had such cool pieces, but very expensive prices. And with the rate that I'd be breaking things, it's just not the vibe. Okay, winter mittens. Where are you going tomorrow? Ooh, cruise where? I don't know, I didn't know I go on a cruise. <laughs> Man, you don't know where you're going? This girl, she's going on a cruise tomorrow. She doesn't even know where she's going. You guys see where I get the spontaneity from? All right, next door. Morning. I have never been here before. All right, I like these prices a lot. Oh. A little bit better. Wow, this store is so aesthetic. Why have I never been here before? <gasps> 
kitchen section. Oh, oh, are y'all seeing this right now? Wow, this seems so ineffective, but I want it. May you think that these work? No. I literally just want to buy these because they're wood, but like, is that the smartest thing to do? Probably not. My mom is telling me about how like wood gets stained, and I'm like, wait, you're right. It does get stained. Oh, do we want to buy some glasses? Actually, I do want to buy some glasses, but should I buy them from here though? Look at this. I love how small this is, but what is it made for? Mice? The wow, look at these trays. I don't have a need for them, but I want them. You know, these bowls may be cute. But it also says do not microwave, do not leave in water or hot water or in food, do not put in the dishwasher, do not use soap. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do with this then? Just look at it? Not very practical to me. Ooh, I do want this trays though. Man, thank you. Let my tray get my connect. And then I want this one too. I love all this stuff. I just don't know what I need though. I think I just went shopping for no reason not gonna lie i literally don't need anything but i want to buy everything okay let's go let's go let's this go. is dangerous oh never mind i forgot we are buying these two trays i don't know what i'm gonna put on them yet but i want them hi oh my god this incense holder is beautiful wow i don't really drink but if i did i would be using these Oh my god, look at this dog bed. This wall is beautiful. Wow, this is so pretty. Me and my mommy and this pretty view. That store was so cute. It was like, I think mostly just Japanese stuff. So cute, loved it all. My mom said everything was too expensive, so we did not buy everything that I wanted to buy, but we did buy an incense holder though because I just loved it. And I feel like out of everything, I mean, I already have two incense holders, so we definitely don't need more, but it's just the vibe, you know what I mean? Oh shit. I'm about to spend a lot of money. Want it. We're literally only two seconds in the store and I already want everything. Oh my god, this is the store of my dreams. These are so beautiful. Bro, I swear they're testing me. These for the bedside table, I think I need it. No, but then also these. Wow, I love these glasses. $65 each. No, I hate them. Are you guys seeing this shelf? I love this shelf. How much is this shelf? $2,000. <laughs> I do not like their shelves. Keep in mind, the mirror you bought was $400. Yeah? I remember when I used to eat McDonald's every single day in the vlog. She's just saying that she had no money and she would have to use her credit card. So I would tell her like, oh, I need to buy it for the vlog. I need to buy it for the vlog. It's horrible. But look where it got us. Uh, all this kitchen stuff is like, I love the colors of it all. Ooh, should I get a honey pot? I think that this purchase is justifiable because I do use honey every day. Let me try to adjust by every single process even though there's no i was gonna say there's nobody like screaming in my ear but there is this basket is so cute i feel that you're talking me out of buying everything oh set money lie better i walked in the house and i saw that and it's just like i don't like it ew what uh, man 20 looks so ugly Ew, like 17, 18, 19, like 15, those all look so pretty and cute. When I look at 20, I think old as fuck. No, 20 looks so bad. I do too. You are way baby. It hasn't hit me the fact that I'm going to be 20 yet. It's a number. Right. But it's the fact that I'm physically fucking seeing it right now. Like, I usually think it's just a number, but like... Mmm, are you guys surprised? No, dinner tonight is boom boom. Play. Okay, so I'm thinking this year we're gonna put all the cutlery. I actually wanna get new cutlery because I got these like two years ago, which isn't too long, but it's just that there's not very many of them anymore. I mean, there are still a lot, but we're definitely missing some. <laughs> Okay, so for right here, I'm thinking I'm gonna put the spatulas and stuff here. And then I also have these knives here. These are from like our place. They sent me them, this pink set. And like sometimes, occasionally I use them, but my go-to is this Japanese one that I bought last year. And this is such a good knife. I wanna go get it sharpened, but this is such a good knife. Okay, for all my pots and pans, I'm thinking just literally right under here is such a perfect spot for it. 
I have more, they're just being used right now. For cutting boards, my mom has them in here. I don't know if I like it in here. I mean, I don't think that I mind. I had this organizer though, but it's not gonna fit. So I think I'm gonna move them in here just because I feel like it looks nice like being able to like pull something out. And there's like other things that I have to organize anyway, so might as well just like put it in there. And then for cookie sheets and stuff like that, I'm gonna put them down here. Welcome back to another haul video. Um, I'm not trying to break or show off in any shape or form, but we're gonna do a full, we're gonna do a haul of everything that I got today. And then after, I'm gonna show you guys the full organization of what we did, because I'll show you guys a little bit during the process, but we put everything away, which I'm so glad because now I know everything that I have. I'm really excited to show you guys. Anyways, from Muji, I got these two boards, which I think that this will be super nice to maybe display some food. And then from that one store beam, I got four glasses. I think my favorite colors are green and like amber, I realize, and I think that will be like the theme of the house if there are colors. Look at these beautiful glasses. Can I offer you a glass of water? Yeah, sure, of course, here. It's filtered, don't worry. Then, I got a whole bunch of stuff from this one store. They wrapped them up super nicely, but these were on sale, so you know, I had to get them. Oh, geez, this lighting makes me look Dead. This was $18.99 and I got two of them. They look like this. I got the same thing but just in square. Oh, then I got this honey jar because I've been using honey like every single day now basically. So I thought it'd be nice to get like a little honey jar and where's this? It's a little stick in here, right? And then I got this candle holder because I have these candlesticks. Apparently these are no drip candles which I just don't understand how they're supposed to stay. Maybe you're supposed to like light it at the bottom a little bit to like stick it or something. But I got this because I thought it would look as Oh, okay, and these I'm living for. These are wine glasses, but they're not like traditional wine glasses. They're just like little cups like this. And I thought it was so cool because it's like ribbed and it's super thin. Maybe I'll collect wine glasses, even though I literally don't drink. Like I haven't drank in like, I don't know, like three months. I know you guys are gonna be like, girl, aren't you like 20 years old? You're not even allowed to drink. Right, correct. But in Canada, I was allowed to drink like two years ago and I was drinking before that. Ooh, and then I got this bowl. Just because I like that it was a vegetable shape. I think that this is bok choy. Oh, and then I got this spoon because I only have one like small mix spoon right now to like, use for like sugars or like sauces or anything like that so I thought I would get another one. Ooh, and then from these expensive ass store I wanted to buy something because I was in there for so long just admiring everything. I just didn't want her to like think that like we just went in there to record. But genuinely I looked at this and I was like wow I want this. This is an incense holder but like it has this, like cement ball. You basically put incense in here and then it sticks out like this. I'm really excited to use this. I feel like it just matches the aesthetic. Can you guys like see the color theme of my house here? I'm actually really happy with it. I'm a Sagittarius, okay? And you know what? Like, I know some people can be biased for their own signs and be like, oh, my sign's the best, my sign's the best. And guess what? My sign is not the fucking best. I can definitely openly admit that now. But you know what? Being a Sagittarius, it is really nice not gonna lie being friends with one it's like fun and all but like you never know where we're at you know what i mean anyways so what was i saying do i want to turn 20 no i really don't i, I don't want to turn 20. i'm very i was gonna say i'm sad about turning 20 but i honestly could give two it's like, this is the least I've ever cared for my birthday, and I feel like I say that every single year, but it's just slowly just getting more. I could care less. 20. 20. Ew, I'm never gonna say my age again. I'm literally just gonna tell people, like, didn't you ever learn not to ask a woman about her age? Because, ew, I do not wanna say I'm 20. Not my mom literally getting dressed. She got my dad to change too. Are you guys serious right now? Bro, I'm literally in sweatpants and a shirt right now and it is 11 p.m. and they just got changed out of pajamas into, what are you guys doing? Your oh my gosh, I didn't get to see this cake. The DoorDash delivery guy delivered it. Cause like, what if he like, I don't know, fell on his bike? Oh, no slide on it. Yeah. How do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> I literally That's said, cute. what if the DoorDash driver fell and just, I don't think he fell, but he definitely fucked up the cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I already know that I showed you guys most of this stuff, so I'm just gonna quickly work through it. But up here, I just have the cutting boards and like the strainers and stuff. Below the ovens, I just have the baking sheets and pans. And then over here, I have the spices. I moved a couple other things over because I do use like sesame seeds and nutritional yeast quite a bit, which I'm really glad because like look how full this thing is and we have room for like more spices, but like I don't really plan on doing more. Down here is like all of like the oils and stuff like that you guys saw and then some extra oils and vinegars down there. This is kind of like the tea and the coffee section. 
section. So here we have my Nespresso pods, my jasmine tea. This is like my matcha citron bowl. And then this is one of those like milk frothers, but it's electric. And then down here, I have the big cutting board, which I plan on bringing in and out a lot. And then like, you know, knives and all that stuff. And then down here, I just have my pots and pans. In here, I have my garbage can with my garbage bags. And then like all of the plastic bags and like all that stuff. This is actually fake. It doesn't actually have anything in it. And then over here, I have all of my glasses and like my bowls and plates and stuff. And then down here, I have all of my appliances just because I don't like having them out. I definitely recommend hiding your appliances if you guys have never tried that. It like clears my mind a lot. I know you're probably like, what the f*** you mean? But like not having shit everywhere, it really works. Okay, so in here, I just have the two random trays that I did not know what to do with. And then down here is all of my cleaning supplies. And this looks so much better than my last place. But uh, I just love how organized this looks. All these towels. If you guys don't know, I actually don't use paper towels. Like last year it was to be like, oh, like eco-friendly and everything. But now like I just genuinely love microfiber towels. Like they just pick everything up so much better. Go the microfiber towel wave, y'all. Yeah, and then in here I just have all of the cutlery, all of like the other stuff. I don't think I have anything in here, no. But then you come around here and there's more organization. So in here I have the cans. I have baking stuff, more baking stuff, some of like the rice and stuff. This is like my Asian food section down here. Whenever my mom comes over, she'll be definitely raiding in here. And then in here, I just have a protein powder. So that's it for the kitchen tour. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm tired as shit. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow because I daily vlog and I read every single one of my comments.